life was never designed to be calculated in duration. Life was designed to be calculated in the essence of God that is witness to in time. You can celebrate birthdays until you are 100. It's a waste. Until your life becomes a channel through which God flows into your context. Life is not duration based. Life is God expressed through human vessels. The idea of life is not material possession. You can own a billion. You can have cars and institutions. But if God is not there, it is Babel. And when it becomes a tower, God himself will destroy it. Everything we have is a tool for advancing divinity. The idea was the ability of man to come into Koinonia and express God afterwards. So when we look at men, what we should trace is the dimension of God that they carry. Man has no identity in Zion except as it becomes an expression of a dimension of deity. So if you study Hebrews chapter 11, he didn't remember what they had in time. Noah created an ark that was to save the whole world. It was not captured in the chronicles of Zion. When the records of Noah's life were written, he said when God spake, Noah moved with reverence. So the fear of God in the life of Noah was the channel for communicating God. That was the only thing that crossed into eternity. The gifts of the Spirit that Noah had were not written in eternity. It is not needed there because eternity is a realm of perpetual continuum. You don't need word of knowledge. Noah built an ark for 100 years and everything Noah built, he saw it in the Spirit. But that was not written. The only thing that was captured was the fear of God. Because that fear of God was what captured the dimension of God that Noah represented in time. The Bible said in Genesis 24 from verse 1 that Abraham was old and well stricken in age and the Lord had blessed him in nothing. That is mortal record. When you enter into the immortal realm, they didn't capture the silver and gold that Abraham had. It was his faith that resonated in Zion. It was his faith. That was the only thing that resonated in Zion. Among men, mundane things can be numbered, not among spirits. You know, you can be fair, and then it's priority. That is in time. When we enter Zion, we'll be clothed with light. So you will not know who was black or who was fair. So if you lived your life about your skin, you wasted. Because when you appear in Zion, they will check you. What is the signature of God that will capture the time? Moses was a prince in Egypt. He was one of the candidates that could become a pharaoh. But when Moses entered Zion, they didn't remember that he was in Egypt. The only thing that was captured was that he saw him that was invincible. And when he was come of age, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than the pledges of Egypt, which is for a season, because he saw him that was invincible. So the life of Moses was a definition of faithfulness and perpetual obedience. So when we say glory, we are actually trying to troubleshoot the meaning of life. He said, for all have sinned, and falling short of the glory of God. That means the glory of God is what defines life. The signature of life is the glory of God that human vessel can capture. The story of life is the possibility through grace for mortality to host immortality. The story of life is the possibility through the wisdom of God for mortals to be able to host deity and they can communicate him in this realm.
Hey, 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 hey. 